then what we do right after this, okay, so you can do this right after this trade. So there are some edges you can get when you do it at the initial trade itself. There are some edges you can get which you should do it right after you put the first part of it because you don't want to give the guy a signal right away that this is what you're thinking, okay? And I know they don't have time to focus on it like so individually like that, but these guys are very, very smart. They know the stuff, okay? So don't underestimate them. In this case, it would be right after the first trade. So let's say I go in for a first trade. Of course, market's not open now, but let's say I did this, okay? And then right after that, what can you do to at least, you know, capture some edge here? In this case, I think the best option would be this. And in this case, there are not too many options because the stock itself is sort of in an uncertain state. So here, what you would do See, first of all, let me explain the philosophy of this, of, of this kind of thinking, because as I said, it's all about out of the box, okay? So if you expect this debit spread to be profitable, okay? If you expect this debit spread to be profitable, even if it's just like 200 bucks or 300 bucks or 400 bucks, whatever the case might be, okay? If you expect it to be profitable, You're going to be a winner because, because it has to go through your win before your loss. So I would create a credit spread the very next minute. Okay. So here buy and here it's sell now. Uh, sell, we'll have to change the strikes, but uh, let's sell the 275 and 280. You keep it the same width. Look at this trade. It becomes a break even. At the very least, it becomes a break even. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what the problem is. Obviously, a spread from 262 to 267 cannot be the same as 275 to 280. Okay. So let's say we gave, we gave some slippage, which you will have to do. This is not possible. So if you, if you did that, then let's say you got only credit of uh, say 1.3 okay all right that's reasonable you got credit of 1.3 and therefore you do have a loss situation because you cannot this would have been a free arbitrage trade if it was so you get a credit of uh, say even 1.2 that's fine but look what you did to your trade you know what is your max loss 300 bucks now, if that's not an edge, then what is it, right? You took a debit spread, you had risk of 1.51, you've just reduced that risk to 30 cents and still maintain your profitability as far as the spread is concerned. Now, if that is not an edge on a trade, what is it? But the thing is, it has to strike you. And for every trade, every situation, every stock is going to be different. So it's not about just knowing one little tactic. It's about knowing these kind of tactics for every situation. Okay. That's what it's all about. And that is exactly what we do in Trader Max. So this is an edge, absolutely an edge. If it goes down, if I'm, because it's so uncertain, if it goes down, you know, I'm going to lose 30, you know, 300 bucks, right? I don't even have to lose that. Okay. By the way, I'm just saying, because I have like what, 26 days to expiry or something, uh, 26 or 30 or whatever. So, you know, if it starts going down, you know, your bear call is going to be making a profit big time. I'll switch that over, over here. So adjustments, tactics, uh, you know, getting the edge. These are all critical elements to become, uh, you know, a good options expert. Okay. So all these are necessary. It's not that nice to have or anything. If you just trade a plain debit spread or a credit spread or even an iron condor or a calendar, that is plain vanilla. It doesn't cover the market maker's edge.